In the following demonstration, I want to illustrate the quantization of the electronic energy levels of the hydrogen atom. Here, we have a gas discharge tube filled with hydrogen gas at very low pressure. When we apply a high voltage to the gas, we cause current to flow by ionizing electrons from the atoms. In the process, many atoms of hydrogen are generated in excited electronic states, and we can observe light that is emitted by those atoms as they transition from one state to another that is lower in energy. Each of those transitions is quantized. That is, there's exactly one wavelength of light corresponding to the energy of a given de excitation. And the various wavelengths are reasonably well separated from one another in the visible part of the spectrum. That is, in the portion that we perceive with our vision. With the lamp on, it has a net color that appears roughly reddish violet to us. But that's because we're perceiving all the various colors simultaneously as they impact our retinas. Instead, if we pass the light into a spectrometer that's capable of recording the intensity of different wavelengths, we can see absorptions at various characteristic values, while the rest of the spectrum is mostly baseline. Those peaks are centered at the characteristic emission lines with a little bit of broadening arising from various physical effects that we won't worry about here. We'll compute one or two of these lines' wavelengths later on using what is known about hydrogen from quantum mechanics. For purposes of this demonstration, though, what's important is to notice that there is not a continuum in energy distribution. Only certain levels are permitted, so only certain transitions are observed. This is an amazing phenomenon in many ways. Imagine if I told you that you could throw a rock only at certain speeds and that no speed in between be possible. You would know from experience that that cannot be true. Any speed, and hence any kinetic energy, can be accessed. But at the microscopic level, the macroscopic rules of physics cease to be true. And indeed, only certain quantized energies are permitted for the electronic energy levels of atoms and molecules. This quantization can be a powerful tool. Did you know that the element helium was first discovered on the sun and not on Earth? The French astronomer Janssen observed a strong spectral emission at 587.49 nanometers during a solar eclipse and, since that emission did not correspond to any then known terrestrial gas, he assigned it to some unknown element in the sun's chromosphere. Only later was the gas isolated from deposits on Earth and shown to be the same by comparison of the spectral signatures. Indeed, I have a helium discharge tube here. When I turn it on, do you see how its color is quite different from the hydrogen tube? And if we measure the wavelength with the spectrometer, sure enough, we obtain a peak right here centered at 587.49 nanometers. Next time you see a helium balloon, you'll have much more to think about with respect to the elemental properties of the gas.